never been to Edinburgh Zoo, so we're really excited. We've been to Chester Zoo and Blackpool Zoo. Yeah. Never Edinburgh Zoo. No. Do you remember how much it was to get in? It was just under, it was like 39 something for the both of us. Yeah. And at the minute they're doing time slots, so you have to come at your allotted time slots, so we're in the one o'clock slot. Yes. This zoo actually has animals that we've never seen before. Mm, the um, pandas. Yeah, but it's apparently quite, even though you come here to see them, it's still quite rare that you might actually see them because um, they might just stay in a little habitat inside and you don't get to see them, but hopefully we can. Yeah. Should we get going? Yes. So we've got a little park map that has all the information inside it about um, your social distancing and washing your hands, etc. Um, the lady on the desk said that you only have to wear a mask when you go into the indoor sections, so when we're outside we can take our mask off, which is good actually because I didn't really fancy wearing it for like three hours. And then a little map inside. So we're here. Can't really tell from this shot, but we're going uphill here. Um, the zoo is pretty much on it, <laughs> on a massive hill. Yeah. So all the way up we go. Um, normally they have some uh, transport that you can take to the top and work your way down, but that's not on at the minute. Found him. It's an orange ball. It's so quiet, guys. We don't know what we're walking towards here. There's no sign. It's cute. Hi. Aww. An armadillo. Or a sand shrew. If you understand Pokemon, that is. There's one. <laughs> we have to be quiet inside. Ah, Morgan, mate, come and I Do your best Australian accent. Could I, mate? Say something that is a good day, mate. Can I do that? Say <laughs> so we're in the wallaby enclosure. We're in the wallaby enclosure? Oh, that was good. I just had a bit of an emotional moment with the koala bears. <laughs> I've never seen one so close before, and it just really got to me. First time I've ever seen them in real life, isn't it? Yeah, like I've seen like, them on webcams and stuff. But yeah, they were really, they were really cute. They look fake. They just look like big teddy bears, don't they? Yeah. Having a nice time in the sun. Well, say that the sun's got in now. It's still quite warm though. In the cloud. In the panda. He, he, he was. It was really cute. Yeah. We uh, we came up the steep hill. <laughs> couldn't see him. And then we checked Panda Cam and we went back down and he was there. Yeah, smart, that's why. <laughs> but what we haven't said is that we queued up originally and then as we were about to get there, he decided to leave in his enclosure. Yeah. And so the keeper said he's outside, so if you go up the hill, you'll see him outside. So we trekked up the hill and then we'd gone back inside. Yeah. So we checked on the camera and he was there, so we raced back down the hill. And, and we got there. to see him. Yeah. <laughs> as you'll have seen. <laughs> I also screen recorded the panda cam, so I'll try and put that in so you can see us on the on the webcam. Yeah. And um, just go, like gawking out through the window. Just so you're aware, there is a big chance you don't see them. Um, we witnessed people not happy, shouting at the keeper. Um, 
you know, I understand why they're disappointed. You rightly said, well, like, look, the wild animals, we can't, yeah. we can't force them to stay in here, they're free to roam about as they want. Yeah, so our, our top tip would be check the panda cam, just keep checking it and then... There's a 30 second delay on it, however. Yeah, but um, I'm really pleased we got to see you. Really cute. I think we're done. Yeah. Just been to see the pygmy hippo. It was cute. Gemma's dropped the phone for the Literally. second time today. Literally twice in the space of like two minutes. And we're just making our way back to the entrance now. Well, it's really quiet. There's, there's literally like no one around. No, I think everyone's just now. Just us. Hang on up the phone. We're going to get down the Unless it's closed and nobody said anything. <laughs> <laughs> we live here now. Come and visit us. I feel like we've seen things that we wouldn't normally see. Yeah, so if this is the only zoo in the UK, correct me if I'm wrong, that has pandas and koalas and a picnic hippo actually. Yeah. You know? Well, they were the highlights for me. Yeah. Well, then we, we made effort to go and see those because we've never seen them before. Yeah, and it was great to see the lion as well, so yeah. close. Although we did have to queue. You had to queue to get to see the koala and the panda, which yeah. is probably about 20 minutes. Yeah. And actually, I think you know, I think you probably would anyway. But I think because you're social, everyone's social, they are trying to yeah. social distance. You're only in one family at a time. Yeah, but I think that's really good because it just feels like you then get your time with it. And I don't know. I just think it's been really well organised and stuff. So I'm really glad we came. Yeah, me too. Like... We've had such a nice day. Like a really, really nice day. It's not been too hot or too cold. It's been perfect and even the sun came out a little bit as well. Like it was really foggy earlier on today, but the sun came out and it was just really nice. <laughs> it did rain a little bit when we were at the penguins, but that was fine. Yeah. The penguins loved it. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a great time. Yeah. But yeah, what's been your highlight of the day? Um, seeing the koalas. Yeah, me too. And I had to see the pandas because I, I know that, that you can come here and still and still not see them yeah. because you travel so far as well it's, it's quite sad if you don't get to see them yeah um, but yeah i'm glad that we we checked panda cam so i'd come here again mm. i really love the fact that it's kind of on the side of a mountain not a mountain <laughs> but like on the side of a hill it's hard work yeah, yeah. So i can imagine if it's a really really hot day yeah it's, it's, it's a hard work but yeah. like today's been it's been a good good day yeah absolutely i'm loving edinburgh in general like i think it's a beautiful city yeah um, everything seems really chilled out it really does. I don't like, know if it's just because like there's less people around, or probably. this is just what Edinburgh's like. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, it's really nice. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed our um, Edinburgh Zoo vlog. <laughs> and uh, if you want to follow the rest of our adventures on YouTube, if you click the subscribe button and also the notification bell, and you'll get a little notification to your email every time a new video of ours comes out. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.